Hey everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to understand the count blank function. This is perfect for situations where you need to count how many MPT cells are in your data, like when tracking follow-ups or attendance. Now, let's get started. Let's say we have the sample data of salespersons and these are the leads. Alright, so we want to check if they uh, have done proper follow-ups on these leads as well. So as you can see, here is John. He has uh, followed up on this lead one, but not on lead two and so on. So I want to uh, find the total number of missing follow-ups or basically the missing uh, cells here, right? The blank cells. So in this case, we will use the count blank function. It's very simple. Here in this cell, I'll write equals and then uh, count blank. Now inside the count blank, I will simply select all of these cells. That is our data. And then I'll just close the parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see, the total number of missing follow-ups are 33. Now let's take a bit more complex example. So here I'll click on the next sheet. Now in this sheet, you can see something. I want to check for missing follow-ups of a particular salesperson. Let's say I am looking for Jeff and I want to look for the missing follow-ups of Jeff. Let's count first manually. For Jeff, the missing follow-ups are one, two, three, four. So here the answer should be four. Now let's use the count blank function, but inside that count blank, we will use another function because we want to filter this on the basis of a sales representative, right? So in this case, what I'll do is I'll use the xlookup function here. I'll write equals xlookup. Now inside the xlookup, first we have to give the lookup value. In our case, it is this person. So I'll select this cell and then a comma. Then we have the lookup array, which means where does this person come from? It comes from this column. So I will select this entire column. Then I'll write another comma. Then we have the return array, which means uh, where is our answer? So in this case, I will select all of these columns of leads and then a, a comma. And if not found, uh, let's say I can have a message here saying that not found. And that's all we need. I'll just close the parenthesis. And now before hitting enter, we are going to wrap this entire formula inside the count blank formula. So here before XLOOKUP, I will write now count blank formula. I'll write count blank and then open parenthesis and then at the end, I'll just close the parenthesis. If I hit enter, as you can see, the Jeff has four missing follow-ups, exactly the same, one, two, three, and four. Now let's look for some other employee, let's say Carl. So if I write here, C-A-R-L, it has three following, uh, three missing follow-ups as I, and as you can see, one, two, three. Exactly. So this is another use case of a count blank function in Microsoft Excel. And that's how you can use the count blank function in Excel to count blank cells for specific roles. I hope this helps make your data tracking a lot easier. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more Excel tips and hit the bell so you never miss an update. And if you want to practice, the Excel file is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.